All right, let's get started here uh, with our replay cast of Evil Geniuses vs. Glorious. We have on the left side here on Dragonshire Glorious Gaming, and they have ZP in the top lane as Shen. We have Felt that in there, Cawthon Luck is playing him. Um, then we have Lauren on Nubarak, Brightwing is played by Nick, and Syracuse is playing Tassila. Their opponents on the right side in the Red Trunks, we have Chill Attack playing Stitches. Below that, we have Arthas played by LZ Gamer. Faye is playing Nova in the mid lane. We have Tychus being played by Idra and Ufer being played by Rusty. And looks like we might see the first gank attempt here pretty soon. Citrus was already in position. And ZP. Little, he needs to watch out a little bit. Because we have we have Nova and Arcus in position. But yeah, hiding behind the minions is always a good idea. And I don't think he saw those guys, so we will have that. First move and a good stun at the hook. They will get the first blood here. Good job by EG. And this allows them to capture that initial shrine early on. Lauren is gonna move and rotate to the top lane to try to contest that. Shrines will activate in a couple of seconds. So Nubarak and Shen will move into the top lane to try to contest and go against Stitches. And next gank attempt will be stopped. Lauren gets there, breaks them both apart. And that's not gonna do all that much. Bitches and Shen will still duke it out, but Shen can keep the control here. Arthas and Nova are really good uh, gank squad, and they bring terror to all of these mid and top lanes. And always rotating between these two lanes. I really like their attempt here um, in, in the way they work that. Uh, Shen going up against uh, against Stitches. Pretty much an even match. But since you always have that danger of Arthas and Nova coming in, you will play a little bit more conservatively. And now they even rotate down. Let's see how Ufer is doing versus Tassadar and Brightwing. Stun coming in and also follow up stun out, out of Glowering. And Coffin Luck moving in, Fire in a lot of trouble. Wow, but the heal out of Brightwing kept her alive. And never mind the, the heal uh, out of Ufer. Brightwing, opposed, of course, on the opposing team, um, went for that. Um, went for that polymorph. And let's check out some of these initial turns, but never mind. Go to the top lane first. Chill attack, putting on some pressure versus Glorum. DP also in there, and Faye surprising him a little bit, but he does get away. Uh, no follow up stun coming out of LZ. So let's check out the talents. Um, we have Overload and Healing Ward on Tesla. Bribe is up for Brightwing, and. No bribe, of course, for Felt's that. Um, we have seasons mark a seasoned markman for him. Gathering power as well. And jump in the bot lane. Pedro is in a little bit of trouble. Syracuse, Nubarak, and Felt's that going for the easy camp in the mid lane. And they will get the grab here. And Nick is in trouble. Yep, he will be taken out. Totally backed off in the wrong, uh, in the wrong position here. But uh, he did try to go for the steal. Actually got it, but it didn't do all that much damage uh, since they did get him, and uh, got the easy mobs as well, uh, the easy camp as well. And now Syracuse in trouble. Nick keeps him alive. And they will go for that bot shrine just before. He, um, Falsa was able to channel there in the mid lane. Alright, let's check out the remaining uh, talents, because we have level 7 talents now picked as well. Static Charge, Regenerative Reigns, um, Boomerang, and Pressure Point. Battle of Barbs, First Aid, Hot Shots, uh, Frost Strike, Tenderizer, and Cleanse. 
And again, contesting that bot shrine. A good stun coming out of Glaurum. But um, I think they should be fine here. LZ Gamer is polymorph. They can still contest it. Oh, Glorong moving in from the back. Uh, doing a good job body blocking there, but Idra does get away, and now Glorong is in trouble. LZ Gamer going down that chains as well. So one for one right now. But that does give um, that does give Glorious the upper hand here in this bot lane. And they do have both shrines right now, but Stitches is trying to contest in the top lane. So let's jump to him. Nope, ZP actually able to recapture that. And Felset going for the channeling, but another nice uh, contest coming out of Faye and Idra. And with both of these down in the bot lane, they will keep this shrine for evil geniuses. Now rotating top to retake the top shrine, but Felset also moving up there. And LZ Gamer is in a little bit of trouble. Should attack also taking a lot of damage and he's been focused out. LZ Gamer with the Polymorph. Why are you trying to save it with the Precision Strike but not quite working out? DP can pop his ultimate if he needs to. And he will. And there we go. Blocking LZ Gamer. He can't get out of there. Neither can Ufer. And they will take both of these guys out and now have complete control. Complete map control. Uh, should be able to grab that... Um, Grab that Dragon Knight. Yep, yeah, Ufer does expire, so Anubarak will. No! What a clutch save! What a clutch save! Fire grabbing the top sh uh, top shrine just before Anubarak was able to go into the Dragon Knight. And Stitches will try to move. T uh, will try to move bottom, I think, but nope. They want to stop uh, ZP and Coffin Luck from recapturing this. No, he's just going to stay in this position. And so far, no one's really going for um, no one's really going for any recapture attempts. Nova's just going to stay here in top, try to defend this top shrine, and we have the dragon knights being uh, the dragons uh, the knights being taken here by um, by EG. Cooldowns almost up for EG, so they could force another team fight. And now within with the knights on their side, if they make it happen, they could easily uh, capitalize on it and get one of those forts down. Boris has to move uh, to the top lane to stop the knights. And oh, stitches. Getting, getting out of the shrine a little bit too early. And now that they're out of position, they will go for the easy camp here. Idra, LZ Gamer and Rusty will wail away those. And that's pretty quickly uh, dealt with. And with that, they can put some pressure on the mid lane as well. Uh, bot lane. Shield attack still there. But they're gonna move back, I feel. And take their own easy camp. Oh, they're actually setting up a nice trap here. Stitch is already in position. There comes the hook. ZP. Oh, he jumps back. And they will get the seal here on this camp. Nice job by Glorious. They're already uh, half a level ahead right now. So rotating back down. Recapturing that shrine. But no one's in position right now. So Arthas will just go for the capture on the top shrine. So no one can actually go for that Dragon Knight just yet. And... EG is waiting, ZP overextending a little bit, there comes the hook, can Rusty get another stun in? Nope, not quite. They're just waiting for the challenge, Nova just going for the capture, but Glorin with the stun can stop him. And LZ Gamer moving in from the top, oh ZP is actually trapped up there, but he pops his ultimate, will stay alive for a little bit longer, but a perfect shock and awe. I mean, Indra already pretty low, LZ Gamer also incredibly low, ZP is so close to dying, but uh, he is taken out, can he do a little bit more damage though, Syracuse is pretty low there, and they will take him out in the end, that's it also in a little bit of trouble, but uh, Chill Take was still on cooldown with his hook. Now they will be able to go into the Dragon Knight though, uh, no way for Felset or Shen to contest that, they actually had to port back. 
Shen at least, he was pretty low and he wants he needs to be uh, kept alive in this next fight because they need their warriors here. Nubarak is back in the fight as well and they will all move down to mid lane to stop this. Meanwhile EG also getting back here to uh, support chill attack. And there comes the kick on Shen, getting him out of the fight. Lauren still trying to go up on chill attack, uh, but he's doing a good job just pr putting on the pressure here in the mid lane. And just now Felsen and Hassan are moving in. Shield is of course being taken out in no time. And Shield Tech needs to stay back a little bit, but not too much. As long as he still has a little bit of HP left, they will be able to um, help him out. But we'll get the disengage on now with the fort gone. One fort down. G in a little bit of a lead, you can see it in the experience as well. And let's see if I can grab those. Oh no, can't stop this, uh, the knights. Right wing probably went for a drive there. And the knights have been captured and will move up the top lane. Should have taken in a good position, ZP overextending a little bit, but they have the knights there. There's a stun coming out of Ufer and Arthas. Double stun, can Indra just enough damage? Yes, he can. Oh, but the ultimate is being popped. ZP, ZP can save himself. And the hook was a little bit too late, missing him there by an inch. But they're, they're in a good position to stop the knights now. So that's one thing they got going. And. Now we should see the grab here on the knights, uh, on the siege shines. Nope. Turning back around. So that uh, Fi is a little bit out of position. There comes the deep dive out of the noob and the stun. Can Nick body block him? Nope, they don't even need it. Last minute precision strike didn't really help here. And with that, I think they can even it out in the forts game. Getting one fort down, but EG also taking top fort down. So they're still a little bit ahead in levels, but not all that much. And the steel on the, on the siege shines. Now they need to get out of here before EG actually gets back, but managing to do that. So EG will have to deal with these, uh, with these siege shines, but that's not really an issue. They're all in position to stop them before they do any real damage on the, on the gates. Oh, actually. Managing to turn around. Um, I don't know, they probably think that Nova is in a good position. Ooh, getting good hard on Nick. But he can't port away for now. There's, there's some good zoning coming out of him. And with the Nuba Rock in there, I think they can turn this back around. And the Dragon Knight is back up as well. And this time, it's up for Glorious. They're gonna put on the counter pressure here. Switching, rotating back to the mid lane. The giants have finally been dealt with, and the gate is almost up already. Some good damage there. Or Nubarak with a stun and top. Getting one guy out of the fight with the kick by ZP. And he's doing good damage here on the fort, almost halfway down. And it will fall. ZP should get out of there though. Book is still up for shield attack. There it comes. I'm getting ZP! But he still has his uh, ultimate up, he needs it. Arthur's moving in with another stun, and he moves on top of Shield Attack. Shield Attack in trouble now. Shocker now coming in, uh, getting a hit on Rusty. Shield Attack also taken out Itra in a little bit of trouble there as well. ZP moving on top of him, but I think they might stop here. Um, only Stitch is taken out, I don't think that's enough to actually go for the kill on the gate. So they um, will get out of there. Maybe able to steal the knights, but that's a little bit risky. Ooh, Fai out in trouble! Ooh, she really overextended there. And this will allow him to get the knights, no issues whatsoever. It's a lot of a lot of pressure coming in for for EG. Top lane is in trouble. They actually um, yeah, they actually go for for the fort straight away. All five heroes in position. Stitch is still on cooldown. 30 seconds also on Nova. So Eagle Genius is in big trouble right there. And that's a pretty substantial lead right now for Glorious. One level up, 
Luckily, um, it didn't really happen uh, in that team fight where they had the, this massive advantage uh, as far as skills is concerned. Uh, let's check out their level 16 talents. Uh, Dimension Warp on Tassada, Rise on Brightwing, Overdrive on Felstad, not too surprising so far. Uh, combination attack, um, cooldown on basics. So Rewind on Noob, um, always a solid choice. And then we have Stone Skin on Tychus, Stone Skin on Arthas, uh, the Fishing Hook of course on Stitches, Ardent Focus on Uther, and Nova Wind for Crippling Shot. So a lot of sustain for for EG. And yeah, we'll give them a little bit better survivability uh, in the next fights. I mean, they're one level down, but that's not too bad considering the talents they've took. Uh, Fire already popping her hologram there uh, on the knights, but not being taken. And just now they are being taken, so popping that uh, hologram a little bit too early. But they go for the knights. Already got the easy easy mercs in the bot lane, and those will do some damage. But it looks like EG wants to go straight for the capture here on the dragon knight. As of that, rotating towards top. No, I think Felstead will fly up there, or they ignore him altogether. But that really doesn't work out all that much. And now they are going for their Seed Shrines. There's the Oracle. And ZP pops in there, trying to get, jump on on Lelzy Gamer. Syracuse taking a little bit of damage there. But good shock and all, getting half of EG down. And Arthas and Uther are already out of that fight. Idra also popping out of the Odin. Stitches goes down. And Idra will be safe behind the wall. But 3 for nothing. Brightwing is the only one that actually took substantial damage in that fight. And uh, Shen also being able to stay alive. So they can go for the recapture now. Felset is already on the bot shrine. ZP um, going for the capture. And they will put on more pressure here in the mid lane. We'll get at least one keep out of this. Yeah, wall's already broken. It's only Faye and Tychus that are up right now. And still 10 seconds on both of these heroes um, on Ufer, uh, Arthas, and Stitches. We're getting one keep out of this. And maybe a little bit more. They still have 50 seconds on the Dragon Knight. They could make something more happen on, uh, happen here. Gate already took some damage. Yep, they all go, so just gonna go for the bottom keep as well. But everyone's back up, so I don't think that uh, Glorious is gonna try to overextend here. Ooh, nice hook on Tassada, but of course with the phase shift, he can just um, move away and retreat pretty safely. Oh, nice line stun. Getting Stitches, <laughs> Bella, uh, Stitches, Nova, and Alcus. Glorious dodging that precision strike and ZP pops his ultimate. They should all be going in now. There comes the oh shock and all is amazing. LZ Gamer, <laughs> LZ Gamer being hit, Ivra being hit, Rusty being hit. All of them are in trouble now, and Rusty of course singled out there and keep taking a lot of damage. LZ Gamer won't get away either, and it's only Ivra and Nova left alive, and the keep does fall. And Falstead, the only one that's actually in trouble right there. Remainder of Glory is still on pretty high health, but they're not risking anything here. They are porting back. And we'll just let the minions do the job. Maybe with a little bit of support by a noob, uh, Tessa and Brightwing. Because they still have a little bit of mana left. And 30 seconds on the cooldown for Arthas, Stitches and Ufer. is in trouble, but she does jump away. There comes the Precision Strike, but uh, of course Glory is on top of things. They can move out of there. If we're trying to make to stop this core from going down, but it's taking so much damage. VP getting back up there, drinking the brew. Oh, and a nice move out of Nick, just blocking them at the entrance. They're not going to be able to stop this. And there comes the kill on the core. 1-0 for Glorious Gaming. 
nice, nice fights coming out of uh, out of Glorious uh, overall. Um, just an amazing job in the team fights, and um, a good job also uh, with their timings on, on the capturing for all of these uh, all of these camps. All right, so um, <laughs> I'll say Faye from now on. All right, uh, let's see if we can get the next game started. But I want to show you guys the bands and picks first. This time I'll read them out though. Okay, let me get the next draft. Alright. So, EG band Tychus and Glorious Gaming band Abathur. Just like last game, I think. Uh, even though. No, uh, EG went for eight. Um, no, that's not it. Um, let me check the previous bans. Yeah, ban on Tyrael uh, in the previous game. So, that was actually by Glorious Gaming. So, um, they kind of switched the bans, but of course the first ban... In no, not really. Uh, Glorious went for the first ban uh, in, the, uh, in the first game, and they banned Tyrael. And then EG banned Abathur, and this time around it's it's Glorious that bans Abathur and EG banning Tychus. Then the first pick was Tassadar, and ZP, or, or rather Glorious, went for Arthas and Falstad. EG going for Tyrael and Anub, and Glorious going for Ufer and Nova. EG with their final picks Zagara and Rega, and the final pick for Glorious is Shen. And this is a best of three, by the way, uh, since we have Tugar asking. All right, let let me have another look at these at this composition. Um, So essentially the same composition, well, wait, that is the same exact composition. No, wait, never mind. Um, I think they just have the wrong screen. Yep, yep, okay. Uh, so I have to go and write these down. Sorry guys, usually we have them saved, but um, since this was played out um, some time ago, they didn't actually save these. And I'll have to write them down. But we could also just get started with the game and then figure it out as we go along. I think that's a better option here to reduce the downtime. Yes, the spelling is fixed this game. Alright, so let's get started here with the second game in uh, between EG and Glorious. By the way, just ignore the upcoming match down there. I didn't have uh, an overlay for this one, so it's this replay cast. And let's jump straight into it. On the left side, we have, once again, as the blue team, Glorious Gaming, and they have Arthas in mid lane alongside Nova. We have Chen in top lane, Falstad, and Ufer in bot. On the opposing side, we have Tyrael in top lane, Idra in mid uh, as Tasla, and Rega. The Gera and Anubarak in bot lane. And they are even geniuses in the red. So 
So let's see how they actually distribute along the lanes. Uh, looks like Anubarak and Rhaegar will go straight for that easy cam. Yep, just now waiting for the easy mercs and they shouldn't have any issues uh, dealing with those. And Zagara will do a do good job just putting pressure on the bot lane, but versus three heroes, even Zagara should get a little bit of help. Or at least play really conservatively. She put down the first tree, creep tumor down there. And it's Arthas versus Asila in the mid lane. So I think uh, Idra will have a nice time just putting on the pressure on the mid lane, and we can already see that happening. First shots being taken there by the towers. And now almost the entire team of Evil Genius is moving down, uh, rotating towards bot lane. But not being able to capitalize on it. Uh, Felsted is playing really safe, so just staying as far back as he can and still get the XP. And there's the goal by Glorious for the easy mercs. We get the capture here as well. So let's check out the top lane and how Tyrion is doing over there. Lauren actually getting really over eager here. But he's doing good, just drinking his brew. So, um, we not run into too many issues, but chill tech. We'll move out there, and Nova's also in position, so he needs to watch out a little bit at least. And look at that pressure coming in here. With a noob, Rhaegar, and uh, Zagara in position, they took the easy mobs, so those will deal a lot of damage um, on the. Uh, on the fort and felt that he needs to get some more help. Roofer and Alphys are moving in. So this should be enough to clear it up. But not if EG decides to make a stand here. First tribute is popping. Altesta is already in position. But not quite going for it. Oh, they want to get Shen. Jill Tech is pretty low though, so I doubt that they'll actually um, commit to this. And they need to defend against the Siege Giants here as well. They are moving into the Tribute. ZP started his channeling. Uh, Rhaegar's in position to disrupt though. Yeah, and he will do that. And EG not really going uh, for this Tribute whatsoever. Oh, Elsa Gamer caught out of position. There comes the stun. Nice stun actually stopping ZP from uh, from capturing as well. And Rusty in a little bit of trouble. There comes the Shield by Tassel. I can keep him alive for a little bit longer, but not enough in the end. And they focus him down. Another time going for that channeling. Inubarak is still in mid lane. He could, could go for a long range disrupt, but nope. EG totally letting this tribute go. And in the meantime, they did uh, do a lot more damage here on the bot lane. Bay was still active here, pushing down with the creep and uh, getting the minions pretty close to, to the fort. And it's already run completely out of ammo. So they will get this fort here pretty soon. So I think that's a good trade, but nevertheless they should, of course, go for the uh, next tributes. Letting the first one go is still alright, but afterwards you really need to go for it. Ooh, Nick caught him between two fronts here, but looks like he can get behind the gates. And they don't want to go for the knights straight away again. With EG being in a position. But now they can. Uh, no one's really um, on their on their neck again. And Felsit also moving up there as well to help out. So they will get those knights in the mid lane. And the next tribute's coming up. Rusty already started channeling. Oh, already halfway down in an excellent position for EG. And they will get their first tribute as well. So one for one as far as tributes is concerned. And the uh, bottom lane. Pretty low again, but uh, with just Zagara there, I mean, of course she's a, she's a good pusher. Um, she's doing a good job just pushing this bot lane, but just her um, is not gonna be it's not gonna be enough. They want to disrupt. They want to disrupt Glorious while they're going for the boss. There comes the stun out of the noob. Solid stun, but no real follow up yet. DP is pretty low though. They're doing a good job zoning them off so far. They, I think they really want to go for the steal here on that boss. It's already pretty low. 
And now Tio is moving in from the top. Oh, Shen moving straight in there. And he's being stunned straight away. Drinking lots of his brew though. And ZP so low. LZ Gamer is still up there. Going in for another stun. Captain Lock so low. Oh, and they might get him. No, he does get away. He's still moving in. And Nick looks like he can get away, but EG able to get the steal here on the Golem. Good job um, getting the perfect timing to capture that. And even getting a solid teamfight out of this. Um, I think in the end uh, they only got one hero, but, um, but capturing that boss is just so vital. And with that, the fort does go down, and they will go for their own boss in th at the same time. So I put on some pressure in the top lane as well, which um, was pressured by Glorious. Uh, in the meantime, they already took down the gates and did a little bit of damage. Nope, not not yet, but uh, did a little bit uh, of ammo stealing on the fort in the top lane, and they will catch that boss. So let's have a look at their level 10 talents. We have Archon, Evoring Maw on Zagara, uh, Judgment on Tyrael, Locust Swarm on Anubarak, and Ancestral Healing on Rhaegar. So the usual picks uh, for them. That's a uh, good CC combo um, that could come in here with LZ Gamer and Faye. They're being really cautious, not overextending, having a nice concave here. And they really want to lure out, um, they really want to lure out Glorious to uh, fire off their first ultimate. And then they can just back off, let the boss do its work. And it already did. Ooh! Chill attack, in a little bit of trouble. And ZP caught in the middle there, precision strike hitting so well. And he's going down pretty low. There comes the Shock and Awe, only catching the LZ Gamer. And he's being healed back up by Ancestral Healing. Chen, a little bit of trouble, but he can pop his ultimate. And there it goes down. And they will just part ways without any hero going down. But still, a solid fight out of EG. They're two levels ahead. They got the Ford. And they're in a good position to take this next tribute. Falset is getting there. He started channeling. Ooh, but he's taking a lot of damage. Shield take might actually take him out. Nope, there comes the stun. Saving Felstead there, and Shieldtech will move back, uh, but they should be in a good position to just capture this tribute and go up 2-2 uh, two to two in the tribute game. So this next tribute, wow, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be a massive fight incoming for this uh, for this final tribute. But two forts already down on Glorious' part. Might actually lose this middle fort as well. There comes the stun out of ZP. Not the entire team is in position, LZ Gamer actually trying to get behind him, trying to bottom block him there, but ooh, Shield Attack, he's pretty low, and he runs straight into the precision strike, and with that, they can take him out. Luckily for EG, they did get away beforehand, so um, only losing Tyrion in that engagement. And they will try to go for their own, uh, for their own knights. Um, their voice is popped just to check the positioning out of Glorious. And it's a little bit risky to go yeah, for that, so we'll let that one go and try to defend their own fort in the top lane. Um, I don't think they can make it in time, but maybe they can get a kill out of this and then go for the last tribute. ZP is pretty low. And there's the Mon ZP. Can they get in a good position? No. Nope. Rusty not quite moving in there, but ZP goes down nevertheless. He took so much damage there. And doing a good job body blocking Chen. But of course he has his ultimate available. Does he? Yes, he does. Tyrael did use this time to go down to the Tribute. And Falcid is in there. Only player so far for Glorious. And he's taking a lot of damage right there. Will be able to uh, just get away though. Oh, can Shilatek actually catch him? Yes, he can! So, 5v4 for the final Tribute. And... It goes down for EG. Can they um, can they actually expand on this? Yes, they can. Grabbing the knights, grabbing the knights for the mid lane, and Glorious is already in position to defend this. Uh, they're going for um, for the easy camp or the top lane, but um, yeah, they might actually get the kill there uh, on on the top fort since this was already so low. 
but I think what's happening here in the mid lane is way more important and they need to get here to stop this stop this keep from going down. Here comes the stun on LZ Gamer, but they don't have anything here to stop this. So just the knights and they will be able to get rid of those pretty soon. But at the same time will lose their own boss. And that should be a nice timing since the bottom part is already gone. But the boss should get into the lane and will do a lot of damage with the curse being up, but still only a couple of seconds left, so not quite enough DPS to get him out there in time. Enough. Ooh, shield attack, he needs to watch out. I mean, not his entire team is in position to defend him. Gather tribute if you wish my favor. Okay, so we now have the bottom boss moving into position. Loris has to go up there to defend. Uh, the knights are still up for EG. And I think their boss should also be coming up here pretty soon. Yeah, so they will go for the knights and the boss at the same time. Excellent timing, saving those knights for later on. And this will, yeah, this will make for an amazing timing here for both the knights to move down the mid lane and the boss on top. And they can just choose where to, um, where to help out. Um, probably in mid lane since the gate was already down and that gives them a nice engagement angle on the keep. But at the same time we have Glorious' counter pushing here on the bot lane. Lauren already jung jumped over the gates and I think they will actually get this, keep, uh, get this uh, fort. At the same time they need to watch out EG two levels ahead, almost three levels ahead actually and moving in towards the top lane. We'll take out these towers in no time, and they have the boss pushing with them as well, and lights in mid lane. So if they're lucky, they could go for both keeps at the same time, and one of them will go down with uh, Glorious only being able to defend one part, um, since they have the boss in top lane. Here comes the stun, and Fels that being initiated here. Uh, in mid what? Shield attack, he's being stunned by uh, Arthas, good job, and there comes the shotgun now. But they're two levels behind, so it's not doing all that much. As the gamer pretty low though, he's trying to body block Felset and will be taken out. So a little bit overextension on his part, but they did get the keep here in the top lane. Who can gather this one? And wow, what a move by Shield attack! <laughs> wow! Really, uh, really dangerous, but he did get the keep, so getting both keeps out of this, even if he goes down, nope, uh, there should be healing coming in, and the Ancestor going to follow it up. Good job by EG, getting both keeps, only losing one hero in that engagement, not bad at all. But they need to watch out, they need to get the next tribute, and this might be a little bit troublesome, I mean, they're right now two levels ahead, I mean, three levels ahead technically, but uh, really two levels ahead. But it's actually a vital level since um, since Loris doesn't have their level 16 talents yet. They will try to um, channel on that tribute. Ooh, they're in a little bit of trouble, but with the shield and face shift available, he should be able to keep this going. Oh, Glorin, he's oh missing his ultimate there. Probably still on cooldown. So Chen goes down, and with that, EG is in a good position to take this tribute and possibly even take out another player here. There comes the deep dive out of a noob and. Whoa, another engage out of shield attack. He's in a good position to body block ZP as well. And he will get him as well. LZ Gamer there with the final blow. Nick on his run. And there comes another engagement out of shield attack. Another deep dive by, uh, by a noob. And they get him as well. And with that, with two keeps down, uh, two levels ahead, and only two players left standing on Glorious. I think they can finally get that Nexus, uh, get that core to fall. Chen still trying to get the kill here on fire, but there comes the FA and there comes the ancestral healing. And we're still alive with the phase shift, and they get the final blow on the core. 1-1, one, one, EG evens it out. <sighs> what, a, what an excellent game out of EG. Um, after that first game, um, I mean, they still have their ground, and then the second game, well, excellent team fights, excellent decision making, um, keeping those, uh, I think the the real turning point, or the, the nail in the coffin, was definitely keeping those knights 
on cooldown and then going for the boss and the knights at the same time. Because this allowed them to um, actually put on real pressure in the top lane. And um, get the two keeps at the same time, which, which uh, helped them to keep their level lead up. And, of course, I mean, this would have been disastrous for Glorious either way. Um, even if they would have won that team fight, even if they uh, would have taken out three or more heroes, they would have still been in the defensive position where they need to stay in their stay in their main base and try to defend, try to stop the catapults from coming in. So um, that's uh, really, really excellent decision making by EG. <sighs> All right, so one one. Let's check out the draft for the final game. Yeah, of course, I'm not going to show it again. <laughs> But luckily that was just a different victory screen, so it's all good. I didn't spoil anything uh, when I showed you guys. Um, okay, so we have a ban on Aberthur by Idra. Then, no, the first ban actually went to Glorious and they banned Tyrael once again. Then the ban on Aberthur by EG. First pick, Tassada by Glorious. EG went for Tychus and Arthas. Glorious went for Falstad and Shen. And EG for Inub and Uther. And the final picks for Glorious' Stitches and Brightwing. And the final pick for EG Illidan. Alright, fellas. Let's move into the final game for tonight. And I think. Well, not really for tonight. Uh, if, if I understood it correctly, we have the quarterfinals going on at um, 10, 10 p.m. Central European time. Um, maybe Pride can correct me if that's wrong, but that's the last information I got. So that should be coming in. That's the NA quarterfinals, to be exact. All right, let's get started here with the final game. It's going to be played out on Dragonshire. So I'll load that up. And if you're in the mood for more heroes after this, I'll get started with the Arcana uh, Heroes Cup at 8 on uh, twitch.tv slash gxxshock. So uh, check that out um, if you want to see how the European scene is doing after watching these NA games. And let's get started here with the final game. Shortly, on the left side, here on Dragonshire, as the blue team, we have Glorious Gaming, and they have Chen in the mid lane, top lane taken by Felstad, bot lane occupied by Stitches, Tassada, and Brightwing. And their opponents in the red trunks on the right side, we have Evil Geniuses Three, with Tychus on top, one. mid lane sporting Arthas. Illidan and Anubarak. And in the bot lane we have Uther. Alright, let's keep an eye on, on these gang squads. Arthas and Illidan, Idra and LZ Gamer. Um, would prop well they can rotate to top or mid lane, since uh, both of these would be viable options. Anubarak in the mid lane and Tychus in top. Both of this works. Tychus giving a little bit more damage output and Anubarak for the double stun. But they want to check out who's in which lane. And are they actually going for the steal here? No, they just want to check out... Uh, oh no, they're actually going for the steal on, on the sea giants. Wow, that's pretty ballsy. If, if Glorious would have uh, actually noticed this, uh, that would have spelled trouble here for EG. And they will get the capture on the... They will get the capture here. On the Siege Giants. So those will do a lot of damage there in the top lane. And maybe they can make something happen now. Uh, but no. Probably going for the easy camp as well. Or even more pressure. Down here, we have almost the entire team of Glorious going straight for the seat. 
And they have a pretty solid position here. I don't think Ufer is gonna uh, get in their way and stop them. But in the meantime, uh, evil geniuses. Trying to get the gank arm here on Brightwing. Oh, uh, she might be able to get away. Yeah, Stitch is going to come and help out. Oh, nice hook here! And the body block coming out of Nick, but nope, it's not gonna be enough. Stitch just uh, can't really get him again. Ooh! And Falstead being taken out. He tried to come in and help, but. With the entire team of Evil Genius there in position, they were able to just take him out before uh, he could uh, get to the mid lane. Um, yeah, they know the map before um, before the picks. Hydra is pretty low, but uh, he's just trying to keep him away uh, from this uh, from this Garden Terror. And both teams actually going for the Garden Terror right away. So far, pretty even uh, in experience. Just one kill of damage for EG, but they did sacrifice a little bit of experience in the lanes um, in exchange. So both teams sitting level five at almost the exact time. Comes the Oracle out of out of Syracuse, and this allows them to see: okay, uh, we have EG moving in. We need to be a little bit more cautious. Oh. Or missing his hook there, <laughs> pulling uh, pulling one of the uh, one of the mercs out of position. Uh, this did help EG though. If they can get the final kill on the merc, nope, that's a nice steal. But, oh, LZ Gamer moving in, and now Idra in position with a, an amazing stun and four heroes there. But he's being tried, or at least CP tries to body block him, and there is the steal on the Sea Giants finally. So seeing these steals on both sides early on. That's of course the advantage here on Garden Garden of Terror. We have uh, lots of ways to um, have the bushes in the way where um, you're just shielded and uh, can't see anything. So map vision is really important on this map. And another oracle being popped here by Syracuse. In the meantime, EG going for the easy camp. And we'll capture that. Uh, let's see, are they going for the knights as well? Oh yes, they are. They might need a little bit of help from the Nubarak. Um, yeah, it looks like he's gonna move down, uh, get at least a stun off, maybe um, tank a little bit of damage there. And with that, he will capture those knights. And Falstead should request some help uh, with the knights coming in. Uh, he needs a little bit of help, otherwise he can't uh, he can't keep this fort alive, or at least can't the, keep the gate alive, which would help out later on. We have 90 seats for both of these teams, and there comes the stun. They're just in a little bit of trouble. Arf is moving in from the top. hasn't used his, hasn't used his stun yet, but they want to get rid of the knights in the bot lane. That already took out the gate and one tower. And continue to just roll on with the pressure. Top lane is still pushing strong here with Chilla in position. Um, fortunately, uh, Falstead does have these easy mercs helping him out here. But yeah, I think he will deal with these knights eventually. Now that the noob is out of position. But still, he took a lot of damage here. Taking out both towers, taking out the gates, uh, that's pretty vital. And there comes the stun in the bot lane. Brightwing's pretty low, but they can't get the final kill on him. And missing the hook here, almost getting almost getting rusty. Oh, Idra is pretty low. Heal comes in, but a little bit too late. But they have four heroes in position now uh, in the bot lane. And Shilatek tries another stun. Uh, Okay, keeps him alive. Oh, there comes the hook out of out of stitches. Good job. And Falstead even moving down. Two heroes still down. They will get this fort now. G actually completely moving out of position. Trying to rotate up up top. Oracle is popped by Syracuse. They want to stay safe. Don't want to be surprised from the back. And seats are back up. Let's see who gets to 100 first. Um, first one is up for Glorious, but EG is gonna follow that up, that up with a uh, Garden Terror of their own. Actually going for the big one? Nope, not yet. Not quite yet. And Arthas will port back. So 
they're probably not gonna go for uh, their big garden terror just yet. The LZ Gamer just targeting him to get out of there. And Stitch is missing the hook, so we will see the steal here, possibly by Glorious. Yep, they're gonna go for the steal. Get a couple more, get a couple more seats in. But not popping in their Garden Terror yet. Idra jumped into um, Evil Genius' Garden Terror, and now they will... Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna recapture their own Garden Terror. Grabbing a lot more seats already. Let's see where they're gonna rotate to. Looks like mid lane. And... Ooh, nice job! Stopping that, uh, stopping that siege before it starts. Can they get the bottom Plantera as well? Not yet. Ooh, she'll attack so low! And there comes the shotgun all, but missing a little bit. But EG uh, is wise enough to get out of there. And with that, Glorious uh, should be able to take this bottom garden terror. And EG will use that time to rotate back to mid. And this time the sieging does, does happen. If we're trying to rotate up top, Gates is gone in the mid lane. So they would put on the pressure in the top lane. And Lore is just now getting into position. Uh, let's check out the ultimates though. Uh, meanwhile the Garden Terror by Glorious is moving into uh, the bot lane. Trying to get a hit on there. Ooh, in Glory. He still has uh, 28 seconds left. But the entire G team is on his back, except for Arthas, who's uh, still defending top and uh, was also just in the Garden, uh, garden Terra form. Should attack caught on the position and he's uh, polymorphed as well. And there comes a good stun out of Rusty, keeping the remainder of uh, his team alive for now. Hydra doing some good damage on VP, but he pops his ultimate friend. Now we have everyone moving back in there. Nice position out of Glorious. And Arthas is the first one to fall heal. Should attack also pretty low. But Shen, again, can he get away? Nope, he can't. Shock and all. Hitting two heroes there. And another stun. Faye is in trouble. But Ufer helping him out and having that grenade, of course, uh, to push him back helped out as well. Nick with a bribe here on the on the easy mercs. So let's check out the talents. All of them, of course. No, Army of the Dead wasn't popped, and neither was a Metamorphosis on EG's part. But we have the Archon by Tesla. We have Emerald Wind on Brightwing. Uh, Shock and Awe by Felstad. Storm of Fire for Chen and Gorge by Stitches. Um, then Tychus used Odin, of course, Army for that, Metamorphosis, Divine Storm by Ufer, and the Locust Swarm on Anubarak. The Bot Knights will be taken here for Glorious, and they even, they even got uh, the Siege Giants there. Which EG has to deal with now, but they have three three heroes in position, so they're in a good spot to um, to defend that, of course. And they also have their siege shines in the bot lane. The next guard terror is up. Not quite enough seats for EG yet, so they are in a defensive spot. They need to keep their uh, keeps alive, and we'll stay back for now. Good stun. But can't really follow it up yet. And Felsit is in the mid lane, trying to put on some pressure. Arthas is in position to keep that fort alive. They, so far they have only lost one fort, but this is a strong pushing coming here for Glorious. Already taken out the gates. Arthas needs to get down here, they really need him in this fight. Even having the knights in there as well, that's just a really strong push for Glorious. And the knights just moving past everyone there. And there comes the hook. Odin is popped. And should attack moving in with the deep dive as well. Uh, LZ Gamer is the first one to fall here. 
Idra has to move back. CP's still in there. The keep is almost down. And I think they will get the keep. Uh, yeah, of course they get the keep. Still have all the heroes alive. Illidan uh, did, went, uh, did go down this fight. And Arf is also pretty low. But they're not going to overextend. They're going to grab a couple more seeds. Maybe uh, capture the knights. They're up right now. Um, but nope, just going for the seeds. And if they can get most of these seeds, that would, pre would be pretty amazing for Glorious right there. Uh, they could go for another push like this previous one. Ooh, felt it in a little bit of trouble. She'll take moving in with the deep dive, but of course he dashes away. And Glorious moving in one more time. But they need to gather up, they need to um, regather around this, uh, around this garden terror. And there comes the sun on DP. Oh! He does get out with his ultimate, and Illidan is taken out. Nice body blocking by Chen, and Rusty caught him in between all uh, of his own players, but he does run away. Three for nothing for Glorious, and now they just have to, have to get a couple more seats and just push through. But maybe they just skip the seats and go straight for the core um, with one warrior down and... Uh, no, two warriors down and Illidan gone. I don't think that EG has enough to stop this uh, this core attack. Uh, Uther's ultimate has uh, has still 30 seconds of cooldown left, so it's not going to happen all too soon. Shen is taken out, but the core is just losing health so rapidly, down to 25%, 20%. Oh, Tessa is still alive. Ooh, they take out Felset, but 1% zero, and there it goes down, two to one, for glorious gaming. Wow, nice game for them, uh, two level advantage here in the end.